let's examine the rocks. How did they form? To find out, we must experience millions of years as if they were seconds. Bighorn Canyon began as a vast granitic plain made up of rock over two and a half billion years old. During the Paleozoic Cambrian period, about a half a billion years ago, the sea invaded, depositing the Flathead Sandstone. As yet, erosion in the canyon has not exposed this layer. Later in the Cambrian were deposited the Grovant and the Gallatin Limestone Formations. In Bull Elk Basin, where the Bighorn River has cut deepest, these occur as thin bedded limestones and shales and a distinctive green pebble conglomerate. Water is responsible for many of the canyon's rocks. During the Ordovician period, a marine environment predominated, laying down the Bighorn Dolomite. Its consistent composition produces uniform cliffs such as these in Bull Elk Basin. During the Devonian period, the Three Forks Shale and Jefferson Limestone formed in a shallow water environment. As seen here near Bull Elk Basin, these contain mostly shale, weathering into slopes suitable for vegetation. 350 million years ago, during the geologic period known as the Mississippian, the Madison limestone began accumulating. Its thickness reached over 700 feet. Resistant to erosion, except where the river crosses it and dissolves it, the Madison limestone forms the cliffs along the length of Bighorn Canyon and also causes the plateau beyond the canyon's rim. In places, Fossil brachiopod shells document the life in that ancient environment. In some locations, the Madison limestone appears orange-red. This color, however, is from iron oxide in the overlying Amsden Formation. Near the end of the Mississippian and into the Pennsylvanian period, the Amsden covered the Madison limestone. Today, runoff from the Amsden trickles down, staining the Madison's cliffs. Later in the Pennsylvanian period, beaches and dunes formed. These make up the Tensleep sandstone. The convoluted base of the Tensleep illustrates the impact of high energy waves on the Amsden surface. How do geologists determine the origins of these rocks. Consider these ripples in the Tensleep. In the present, structures like these form because of wave action. Therefore, similar structures, though millions of years old, must be the result of the same process. In geology, the present is the key to understanding the past. These are the rocks of Bighorn Canyon, 